back at it again. Dad's working on getting the corn auger set up to start filling the bin from the home farm here. We're heading back over to the field to finish it off. Got about three rounds left. Dad did a couple loads this morning. Grandpa ran the combine this morning. Why? Because we weren't here. Hey, that feels a little snow half hard. Mm -hmm. Alright, climb up there. Uh, this is kind of dirty. Yeah, it's a little dirty. I need to fit this wheel. Good job. I don't fit the other one. Find the bathroom. What? We gotta find a bathroom. What? All right. Oh look, hey, there's one right here. Okay, so I know a lot of people don't know how a combine works, so I'm gonna show how it works. So the the corn comes through here, and these rollers they spin opposite each other and pull the stock down these stripper plates are narrower than the corn cob so that corn cob gets stripped off gathering chains take it up into the auger then the auger takes it up into the feeder house where there's a chain in there and it takes it up into the cylinder and concave now the cylinder is just this big rotating drum it's got uh, these rasp bars on there and what it does is it beats the corn cobs against these concave screens that go around the cylinder and that shatters all of the corn kernels off. So then all the trash, like the cobs and the stalks and everything, go up into the straw walkers and the grain falls down onto the sieves. So in here, you see the corn comes from those augers and then comes onto these sieves. These sieves will separate out any cobs and other chaff. 
and uh, the corn goes down into the clean green elevator and gets augered up into the, the tank. Now, cobs and corn stalks also go into the straw walkers and what these do is shake back and forth in a stair-like motion, kind of walk it up that way to shake any corn kernels out of the chaff. And those fall down into the sieves to get cleaned out as well. So once the tank is full, and we empty it into a wagon. Pretty simple how it works. This is an older machine. I think it's a uh, uh, early 80s maybe. It's not as fancy as some of the new machines, but uh, yeah, it gets the job done. So, all right. So now we're just waiting on wagons. Yes, while I wait for a wagon again, I will uh I'll wash the windows. Dad, are you saying they wash said, the windows? Yeah, I said I'm gonna wash the windows. Why? Because they're dirty. Oh they're dirty, huh? They're dirty, huh? Yep. That's that's Now you guys should feel pretty special because typically I only wash these windows like maybe three times in a whole season. Um, but I want to keep things nice and clean for you so you can see what we're doing. I guess one of the key benefits to running one of these older combines is you can't get cab corn. So as you can see, there's no corn on the cab, even when the hopper is full. It just conveniently spills all over the steps and onto the ground. But you can't be guilty of having cab corn. All right, we are done with this field. So now it's off to the next one.
of this field. Last little pass here. Good job.